Hello, welcome to the homestead. I am Fezziwick, gonna roll through another episode of What's Good in the Hood. And today I wanted to start off by giving a shout out to GeoGrip, their um, recruiting session members for their skate team. It's a team that's got both Skater XL and session members. I've never personally played Skater XL, but footage looks rad. So if you want to check these guys out, geogrip.fs on Instagram, and there's links down below to uh, get a hold of. I can't remember exactly. It's like Tech Tech on uh, Discord, but if you follow the links, it'll it'll get you there, and you can hit them up and send your submissions and see what they got to say. I guess they've been around for uh, a couple of years now, since 2020, and they are all original artwork, nothing's off the internet, and they've got members on four different continents, which is super rad. So just uh, do a quick bit of the video here so you get an idea of what kind of skating they're up to. I, I enjoyed what I was watching so far and I think it'll be rad to see the collaboration between the two games because I don't I don't care what game it is I play session because that's what I play but I mean skateboarding is the fucking best so I think it's cool to bring the communities together and uh, yeah so hit these guys up follow the links and you can see what's good with them I wanted to do a quick reminder about um, the Buster Bail. I believe today is the last day for submissions. I don't know if it's closed yet or not, but uh, definitely if you got some last minute footage of FDR, throw it in because today will be the last chance. Um, if not, stay tuned for what's to come because that's going to be that's going to be fun. See what people come up with. I've already spotted a few of the clips on YouTube as I've been digging through. It's looking good. You can find the links down below in the description for how to get a hold of these guys. I love this right there. That's one of my favorites. I think that's so sick. But yeah, don't forget to check that out. We want to make sure that we got people involved in these things because we want to make them big. I think it's fun. I think it's rad. And uh, I did want to do a quick Instagram shout out to Session Ascension because I saw this clip. I'm going to make it full screen of bouncing off the side. I love shit like this. I have a couple of edits, Optimus Primo, and I love the fact that they let you do Primo in this game. It's just so much fun. That was a good good example of it so definitely give this guy a follow and uh, links will be in the description it's tons of fun tons and tons of fun all right so the main thing I wanted to focus on with this stream is or at least this segment of the stream is that modding in textures onto decks and stuff has been made super easy by the community. Um, I am not very good with computers. I am technologically illiterate on a very deep level. Somehow managed to figure it out fairly quickly in the grand scheme of things and um, I wanted to give a shout out to JL Nightmare here he has an awesome video on how to install the session mod manager and um, he explains it in such a way that I I really couldn't so definitely give this guy a follow he's got tons of good session content in general um, really really professional and uh, just super helpful so if you're going to try to do modifications I suggest checking this out if you're not familiar with uh, session mod manager he goes through it in good detail 
So, props to this guy. He's got a good thing going on. And the tutorial video that I followed was this one, Killa by Nature 480. It's he does a really great job of taking you step by step through the process and showing things like as simply as possible. The only difference between now and then, because this video is a few years old, is that um, here it says 4.24.3, but we're now in March at 4.27.2. So that's like the only real difference to the process, other than it looks like they made it easier since the last patch to to mod skins and textures, which I think is great because I'm not savvy with this stuff, right? So, but I'm gonna start off by showing how quick and easy it is to get this going. So down below in the description will be links to you model which you need to view the packages that you want to modify um, the unreal mod unlocker and the session mod manager and that from the jail nightmare tutorial uh, you'll need epic games unreal engine 4.27.2 and the gimp editor is what i use to view the the texture files that come from the packages from you model because it was free and it is a surprisingly useful tool i only do the basics with it so we're not I'm trying to do a tutorial on GIMP, but I figured out how to make it work for what we're doing. So, so now that we've actually got the screen up here and you can see what I'm doing, we want to open up UModel. So I use UModel 64, and then we select our sessions folder, which I have pinned, and you can see here the pathway. I'm not going to follow it all the way through. It's in the program files, 8016, yada, yada, yada. Select folder, and you want to make sure that it's the session folder. And then OK. And then it's going to ask you for the encryption key, which will be in the links down below in the Killer by Nature section. We add that in there. And it'll pop up with this, and then we want to look at customization. And we're going to take characters. This is for the male, this is for the female. We want to do upper body, brands. And I'm going to do the ESP burgundy hoodie because that's what I've got equipped. So we're going to go export, or no, we want to go open. Select your Unreal Engine 4.27, and then it'll bring up this screen. And when you're here, you can just it just confirms that you're looking at the right object. So then you go Export Current Object, and you can choose which folder. Mine goes to some random one. I have never bothered to change it. And then we go File, Open Package. And we're going to go down to Skateboards, Deck Graphics, and we're going to do the Anti-Lanta. And I believe this is the asset that I have. We'll just double check. We'll open it. Yep. So this is the deck we're going to be modifying. Tools. Export Current Object. It'll send it to its own path in that same folder. File Open Package. We're going to run down to the wheels, brands, I've got the auto bombs, and the ones I've got equipped are the ABX, I believe it's Tours 52. I'm going to click open, and I'm going to click export object. Okay, 
So in theory, I should be able to close you model. Bah. So now that we've got our textures out, we're going to go into the U model export folder. So wherever your pathing is, and it'll bring up the game folder. And so then we're going to go all the way through the files here to the upper body. Okay, so then when this opens up, it should pop up in GIMP and give us this image. Now, I am not very good at doing this kind of stuff, so I just do the easiest way and I just take my logo, open, open it as a layer, make sure I select my movie tool, grab it, put it over top of where their logo was, just for simplicity's sake in this case. It looks like this canvas is where you can adjust where the logo goes, and I, I did manage to do that with my other hoodie. And then open as layers. that guy over here and then we're going to select this layer take the selection tool take a nice chunk of that we're going to copy it paste we're going to drag it up we're going to paste we're going to drag it up we're going to paste we're going to just going to cover up that logo and then you go file export as, select the original document, export, replace, export, and then we can close this down, discard changes, and then we're going to go up the pathway to our skateboards. We're going to select our deck graphic and it comes up as 512 by 2048. So I have just pre-made an image that I'll just add as a layer on top of this. And then I just go file. There's export as reselect that, export, replace, export, close that down, discard changes, and then we're going to go up to the wheels, we're going to select our brands, we're going to go to the Autobahn, we're going to open that guy up. And then we're going to go File, Open as Layers, this guy, and just, I didn't spend too much time on the wheels yet because I've been busy, but I wanted to just give it a try and see if I could do it, and it worked out, so I'm stoked. So then I delete that layer out so that image is gone. This one is 512 by 512, so I just made a 512 by 512 transparent image. File export as. Save it as the original. Export. Replace. Export. Close. Discard changes. And then we can just double check to see that it saved the file as is. Close that. Alright, and so then we go to our Epic Games. We want to launch the Unreal Engine. I should have closed that one. Alright, so now that we're at this menu, you select Games, Next, Blank, Next. You want to make sure it's a blueprint, desktop, and no starter content. It might have with starter content, you want none. So I'm going to change this to Stream Deck Wheel 
hoodie, create project. It's going to load up, do its thing. So I'm just going to double check something here one sec. So what we want to do is, I'll do that later actually. This guy. We want to grab the game folder that all of our exports went into from the U model, like where you exported to and then selected your files from to modify. And you'll just drag that whole folder into here. And now you'll see your photos down below and then you want to get that out of the way. Go save all, save selected, file, cook content for Windows, and it's gonna pop up here with this little doodad. And if all goes well, it'll say it's complete. And then you can close that down and then you go into your folder where you saved everything and this is the you want to go into saved cooked windows no editor into here content and then this folder here you want to add it to an archive and then rename it To whatever your mod is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this open here and I'm just gonna show you when we load up the map. So I'm wearing the ESP hoodie, I've got the anti deck and then if I go into the replay editor here quick I'll show you the wheels so you can see what they look like so we're gonna close down the game and then I'm going to take the file that we just created I'm going to drag that up to here. I'm going to click on import. And now you can see it's up in the list here. I'm going to select my map. I'm going to load my map. I'm going to start session. And then when we look, I'm wearing a Wigs TV shirt. There's my Allegiant deck. And if I go into the replay editor, you can see the Wigs TV wheels. So it's that easy. And it should, in theory, work. <laughs> I love this. I love that Spargo. I've been running this map, and he gave a little shout out here. I think that's sick. So, yeah. So. As you can see, it's really not that difficult to modify session. And I really hope that when the game is fully released, that they just have a feature where you can just add skins and textures to decks and wheels and all that kind of thing. And even if they found a way to import your own clothing or customize your own clothing somehow, because that was surprisingly simple. And I am not a particularly technologically inclined human being. So shout out to the tutorials, Jail Nightmare, Killer by Nature, and uh, GH Fear on the Illusory Discord. Um, I had no idea what the hell I was doing, and I just randomly messaged an instantaneous response and very helpful. And you know you dig through the illusory discord and you'll find that there's tons of people who are like really good at modding 
sessions and if you were interested in going further than doing simple modifications definitely check that out I've got links down in the description on how to get there um, they all seem to be really helpful people I haven't had a ton of time to look and I probably won't go much farther than where I have gone um, but it's just a fun way to really make session personal and I think it would be sick if they would give us the opportunity to to modify those things in game legitimately further in the future so we'll see what happens but uh, yeah that concludes my episode of what's good in the hood one last oh I closed the window wow you know don't forget to check out um, the Baylor bust if you can submit in time today and definitely check out the footage after the fact the winners I'm sure it'll be great check out geo grip they seem like a rad group of people and I think it's cool that they're trying to pull the community together and I don't see why there is a division personally I mean skateboarding is skateboarding and it's sick no matter what so definitely definitely give them a check out if you're looking for a team and uh, yeah Instagram it's fun there's tons of cool guys and that session ascended clip was <laughs> one of my favorites that I've seen recently so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the modifications and learned something if you have any questions about that process definitely get at me but you're most likely to get answers from illusory and you know guys like Spargo he's always available on his discord um, or at least I've never had a problem getting a hold of him and uh, yeah it's it's pretty pretty rad what these fucking guys are doing so that's a quick and easy way to get the clothing that you would like to have